the Huber Hype dreams come true! Moments ago, Kingdom Hearts 3 was shown. It is electric in here right now. These guys have been playing cards for hours. Everyone is in line. Emotions are high. Everyone is just waiting for them to signal the bell right over there, and then it's a mad dash. Black Friday style, people getting trampled. Last year it was Morpheus. It was like Disneyland Fast Passes. Who the hell knows what happens when that bell rings? All bets are off. God! Omar, hold me. Where are you going? I have no idea, man. What do you do? What do you do right now? There's too much! What's going on, Wait, man? What's going to say right now? We're just getting started right now. Yes. I just came in the door. It's huge. It's crazy in here. It's Chaos. So many people, man. <laughs> right now, it's <laughs> We are standing in front of the most yeah, ramped so, up. So awesome, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Dark Souls 3 doesn't even need to be on the show floor because this thing <laughs> says everything. The stock Xbox, PlayStation, E3 shot. You see it every year, every time. Tear down those party lines. There's no reason for any animosity. But I'm here with E.K. Amati, the voice of Spartan Locke. Isn't that pressure? Mm, a little bit, a little bit, but it, it, it's all good, man. I, I love the game, I love the series, it's good to be here. People have this affinity towards Master Chief. He's the icon. Yeah. You're yeah, hunting yeah. him down. Well, I mean, I think we all have a lot of respect for Chief, uh, but, you know, Locke is the type of guy that does what he has to do, and that's the way it is. It's emotional, man. Yeah. We're talking about Halo right I'm now. In there. I'm in yeah. there. What is Spartan Locke excited for at E3? What, what do you want to play? Batman. Have you seen Batman? That is fantastic. Batman makes me sweat every time I think about it. <laughs> Bending reality through dimensional rifts. They are here from Tearaway in real life. What's your name? Uh, Fred. What are you most excited for? Phantom Pain. Phantom Pain! This E3 is so out of control that I have almost forgotten the Phantom Pain. Big Boss's story will finally come to a shocking conclusion as the timelines from Solid Snake and Punished Snake merge into one, finally securing 25 years of lore. Uneasy Alliance. Take that, Jones. Backdoor shady deals. So many dreams coming true. Hitman. My fondest memory of Hitman is me being too young to play M-rated games. So my older brother would have to go out and buy them. He picked up Hitman, codename 47 for PC because he liked putting a sniper rifle together from a suitcase. Jim, what the hell's going on? Give me your thoughts right now. I, there's too much. There's so much happening at one time. Shenmue. Shenmue's happening. So, Hinky, fellow Blizzard fanatic. Yes. Legacy of the Void announced prologue campaign. Three missions bridging the gap between Heart of the Storm uh -huh. and Legacy of the Void. Yes. What are your thoughts? I didn't really play StarCraft that much. So, Hinky, you're killing me. <laughs> We're at E3. Why are we talking about that? Why aren't we talking about For Honor? The, For Honor! The game of the show. We're going over there right now. I am here with the creator of For Honor, <laughs> my absolute favorite game at E3. I felt the thrill of the battlefield. I went in there with my buddies. We were, we were just in the trenches on the battlefield. I felt every blow with the sword. Nice. Every hit to the gut. Nice. Is that, what do you- That's it. That's what we're trying to do, brother. That's it. So, knights. Vikings, Samurai, put a sword in your hand, give you the tools that you need to be able to unite with your friends on that field, right? Or of course, unite against them if that's, you know, more your thing. Yeah. Uh, and then take the battle, take the battlefield, right? So, Knight, Viking, Samurai, I'm a, I'm a knight. 
I'm nice. a knight, you know, so, but everybody's got a warrior inside of him. I got a feeling there's a warrior in there somewhere, yeah. too. You know? What are you thinking? I don't know. I can't ever tell, man. But the Vikings. You got it. I'm not surprised by this at all. <laughs> this does not stun me. I always have the most kills, yeah. but the most deaths. <laughs> Die well, man. <laughs> Die well. Take him out with you. So I always say, if there's a haunted mansion, you can count me in. I know it's not a haunted mansion. It's a haunted train. This is the definitive way to play Resident Evil. I'm going to gut my entire apartment and do this setup. My God, I'm so fucking hyped. Where are you coming from? Uh, Shanghai, from China, all the way, just to just to come here. This is this is the E3 of dreams. What dream has come true for you? Uh, Last Guardian, obviously. Yes. Um, it's I, Shenmue 3. This E3 touching so many lives with revival of franchises, new IPs. What are you most excited for? Oh, probably Fallout 4. Did you get the Pip Boy edition? Yeah, definitely. Completely useless, but gorgeous. Yeah. You're gonna wear it every day. Just wear it to work, wear it to the bus stop, everywhere you go. We're here with a diehard Game Trailers fan, Seraphim Bahamut. He's got toys. I got I got Disney Infinity coming out all over the place. I'm making Brandon Jones real jealous today. <laughs> yes! Take that, Jones! Take that! Big Sheriff and Bahamut! Sheriff and Bahamut! Big Big he's here! Sheriff and Bahamut! The man, the myth, former Game Trailers employee Nick Plessis. Tell me, tell me what the hell just happened in there. As soon as this conference started, I was gonna take my tent, take my campfire, and just park it right at Ubisoft. I had the honor of playing For Honor with you and Brad Ellis. We were in the trenches. It's a little thing I like to call the Plessis Effect. It's in a whole nother league of jolly cooperation. Where are you going right now? Oh, Nintendo, maybe? Nintendo! What happened? This E3 is BFG levels of hype. Every dream has come true. People have traveled around the world to be a part of this magic that it's just touched millions of lives. Announcements have happened that have made grown men weep, that have given people hope. Franchises back from the dead, something that Huber Hype is all about. Doom has risen from the depths of hell. Dishonored has risen from the depths of Dunwall. It just doesn't stop. Franchise revival and new IPs, most legendary E3 of all time. Unsung heroes of E3. Putting the show together, working hard, backbreaking labor. We're all going in, consuming the games, consuming the media. These guys putting it together. Heroic, courageous heroes. Lucy James! What's up? Hi. Oh my god, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh. you. How goes it? Good. I've been hanging out, like just staring at Persona 5. I've only been dreaming about Shenmue. What did you what? think? What did you think when you saw it? No, we were sat like watching it upstairs. Yeah. And just, I can't swear on this, can I? But like, I don't. Oh, you can swear. I don't want to say what we were fucking saying. Yes. We were just, there's so much. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII, The Last Guardian, Shenmue. The Holy Trinity. Half Life 3, and then the, it's done. Kingdom Hearts was shown this morning. I... Brad Ellis, getting emotional. Getting emotional. Just getting emotional right there. You know what we love on Huber Hype? Jolliness. Right there. Deus Ex. Legendary franchise that we talk about on Huber Hype. There's just too much at this E3. I cannot wait to uncover the mysteries of the Illuminati. Adam Jensen. Back with more powers, more hype. It's emotional. The story is better written than any cinematic movie you could ever see in your life. Mirror's Edge, rising from the depths of the glass city. <laughs> Sell that merch. Must be nice. Culmination of Nathan Drake's story. 
The Last Guardians proving that dreams exist if you never give up hope. Followed by Horizon, a fresh new IP in an age of sequels. It's Murderer's Row. Mikey Dowling from Obsidian Entertainment has issued an open challenge to game trailers. GoldenEye 64 Deathmatch. Yes. This is going to happen. License to kill. License to kill Gotta pistols happen. only facility. Yes. The only way to play. Oh, yeah. Is this the E3 of dreams? It's There's a lot of great stuff here. How does it feel as a developer? I'm really, really stoked to be making games right now. This is, this is just the magical time where yes. franchises have risen. Dreams have been fulfilled. Yes. Anything that, that touched your heart. Shinmu. When? In, in a time when everyone is out to make Brandon Jones jealous, this unsung hero comes and says what? Uh, here's for Brandon Jones. You're welcome, Jones. Live to play. Play to live, brother. That's it, unfortunately. The show's over, people are leaving. It has been magical, more than Disneyland. There have been extreme emotional highs. There have been a couple lows. Franchises back from the dead that people said could never happen. It's all about hope. It's all about believing in it. Passion projects from developers that have been working on games for a decade to get them off the ground. This has been just a place filled with love, hope, emotion, and good vibes. This is it. We gotta wait till next year for it to start again. I, I'm gonna be just thinking about this for the rest of my entire life. That is what has happened here. Monumental moment. Lightning has struck this area. It is just too intense. And that's it. Uh, for all of you out there that have been touched by, by the, the hundreds of ridiculous game announcements that have been waiting years for Last Guardian, Final Fantasy VII, Shenmue III. Dreams have come true. Never stop believing. Never give up hope.